Please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps us out. And of course, if you have any questions, comment below and we will answer you as soon as we can. China's exports surged by 12.7% in October, marking the fastest growth in over two years and outpacing analyst expectations of just 5.5% growth. The spike was fueled by strong demand for Chinese goods across major markets, with exports to Russia soaring by almost 27%. Shipments to the EU are up by nearly 13%, and exports to the US climbed 8% year-on-year. However, import demand within China remains tepid, with imports dipping by 2.3%, leading to a record trade surplus of $95.7 billion. This growth comes as former President Donald Trump won a second term, pledging to hike tariffs on China's goods by 60%. Economists expect that while these tariffs would eventually weigh on Chinese exports, their impact might not hit until the later half of 2025. In fact, the immediate effect could be a short-term boost to exports as US buyers rush to secure orders before tariffs take effect. Meanwhile, China's manufacturing sector also saw signs of recovery in October, expanding for the first time in months as policymakers in Beijing prepare to roll out additional economic stimulus measures to counter deflation and sluggish consumer spending. For now, China's export sector remains resilient, but uncertainties tied to global tariffs and a slowdown in property investment keep the economic outlook mixed. Okay, now it's time to think like an economist. Firstly, define trade surplus. Secondly, explain one potential consequence of increased US tariffs on Chinese goods. Thirdly, analyze how a strong export sector influences China's overall economic growth. And lastly, discuss whether short-term export growth can offset long-term economic challenges in China. Okay, so firstly, define a trade surplus. A trade surplus occurs when the value of a country's exports exceeds the value of its imports over a specific period. In this case, China exported 95.7 billion more than it imported in October, reflecting strong global demand for Chinese goods, coupled with weaker domestic demand for foreign products. Secondly, explain one potential consequence of increased US tariffs on Chinese goods. Increased U.S. tariffs on Chinese goods, such as the proposed hike to 60%, are likely to make Chinese products more expensive for American consumers. This could reduce demand for Chinese exports in the U.S. market over time, potentially slowing China's export growth. Additionally, China's manufacturers may face pressure to absorb some of the tariff costs, which could squeeze profit margins, reduce investments in innovation, or force them to seek alternative markets, potentially at lower prices. Thirdly, analyse how a strong export sector influences China's overall economic growth. A strong export sector contributes to China's e economic growth by driving industrial output, generating foreign exchange reserves, and supporting employment in manufacturing and related industries. Exports to key markets such as the US, EU and Russia not only boost GDP, 
but also strengthen China's trade balance, providing resources that can be used for investments or economic stabilization. However, reliance on exports makes the economy vulnerable to external shocks, such as changes in global demand, tariffs or geopolitical tensions. Lastly, discuss whether short-term export growth can offset long-term economic challenges in China. Short-term economic growth, such as the surge in October, can temporarily boost GDP, enhance trade surpluses, and stabilise industries. However, it is unlikely to offset long-term challenges like deflation, sluggish consumer spending, and structural issues in the property sector. Export growth is inherently dependent on external factors and cannot fully compensate for weak domestic demand. Sustainable economic recovery will require addressing internal challenges through reforms, boosting consumer confidence, and transitioning towards a more balanced economy driven by both exports and domestic consumption. While short-term gains provide breathing room, they are not a substitute for long-term resilience. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share. And comment below so we can clarify things for you.